a brain researcher, so I start with a little bit, a tiny bit on the brain, your brain. So it's interesting. You have one, you've got it with you, but it doesn't come with an instructional manual. So let me tell you a bit about your brain, okay? This is, sorry, this is all a bit, you know, pulled apart, but this, every image is a bit pulled apart, so you will get used to this. So these are roundish brains, and as you can see, these, this, this is a cross-section of a normal brain, and this, this brain on this side here doesn't look too well. I mean, you probably noticed this, even without being a, cogn a cognitive neuroradiologist. You, you see, this brain doesn't, doesn't look good, okay? It got published for a very simple reason. The man, the 43-year-old French civil servant with this brain, didn't suffer any symptoms. He was fine. Had a family, two children, worked. So you can have 20% of a brain and you're fine, okay? And the first thing I want to discuss with you is how can this be? If I take a saw and put a hole in this computer, it will no longer work. And in fact, it takes very little for this computer to, as we say, crash or hang itself up. We have a very drastic vocabulary to, to say this thing no longer works. And in fact, the most imp interesting thing about brains is they have just the opposite feature. Brains don't crash. They don't hang themselves up. No, they have a feature that has a technical term to it. It's called graceful degradation. So they go down with grace. That means, for example, if you suffer from, let's say, Parkinson's disease, a certain disease that uh, affects parts of the brain, neurons that have to do with movement, so you get stiff and you start uh, doing like this, and um, about 70% of the neurons have gone when you start noticing that something wrong with you. So you start feeling a bit sick, and 70% of is, is already broken down, okay? Same thing with dementia. A lot can pass away in terms of neurons and you don't notice anything. We have patients with a lot of Alzheimer's, plaques and tangles in their brain and they are just fine with no dementia whatsoever. And the correlation actually between pathology and dementia is, that is, mental decline, is quite low. So brains can do perfectly well at a level of 20% there. How can this be? 